Prospects to Pros, presented by the U.S. Army. Danny Cannell is here with the Combine less than a week away. You're going to do a little comps here. Prospect comps to pros, and it, for the most part, it's best-case scenario, right? Yep. So let's start with, with Kyler Murray, who's probably not going to throw at the Combine, but will be measured. So we haven't seen an athlete like this come out, you know, under 5'10", you know, playing two sports. There's a lot of red flags. But I don't think you can compare him to just one player because of his unique skill set. So I actually have him as a hybrid type player in a mix between Baker Mayfield, the quarterback that he replaced at Oklahoma, and Lamar Jackson, the other rookie that we saw last year tearing up things in Baltimore because he throws with the accuracy from the pocket of Baker Mayfield, but he's faster. He has the elusivity and the quickness and the explosive speed that Lamar Jackson has. So you're really getting the best of both worlds with these with Kyler Murray. I love his skill set. I love the way he plays. My only question is durability. What about Doug Flutie? A little bit of Doug Flutie in there, yeah. too, but I think he's such a better athlete and a better passer. That's why I think you have to com uh, combine those two. Is there a height that would be a red flag to you if he's measured at this? That's a red flag, and I'm not taking him. No, because I already know he's short. Like, yeah. I, I think he's going to be 5'9", 7'8". It's, it's the yeah. weight. It's the dirt. Like, if mm -hmm. he's at 185, then I'm concerned. If he comes in at 195, 200 or above, then I'm like, okay, he's going to be able to handle the rigors of the NFL. Okay, continuing our prospects to pros, and let's go with Daniel Jones, uh, one of the more prototypical quarterbacks in this draft. Exactly. That's why I've got him compared to Joe Flacco. And I know some people, if you're a Daniel Jones fan, you're probably cringing right now, but I don't <laughs> think that's a bad thing. Yeah, Super Bowl it MVP. Reminds me, like, yeah, exactly. It reminds me like the body makeup. Both taller quarterbacks, 6'5", Flacco obviously 6'6". Six, six. Uh, it's the throwing motion, like strong arm, stand in the pocket. Daniel Jones a little bit more athletic than Joe Flacco, but I also think he wasn't the most accurate at Duke because he didn't have the best talent, got hit a lot behind a bad offensive line. But if you put him in a good situation, much like Joe Flacco, you can win with Daniel Jones. And I think he's going to be a player that's really going to rise in the draft process. When teams meet him and hear his football IQ, I think they're going to be impressed. Okay, getting off the quarterbacks now, DK Metcalf, who's a wide receiver slash superhero, basically, uh, in that last picture. This dude, his this this guy, this photo went viral. On the he's left. Massive. Yeah, he's on the left. He's chiseled. Like, he looks like an Adonis, you know, a Greek god out there. You know who else looks like that? Is Larry Fitzgerald out at Arizona. I've met him in person. He's big. He's physical. Now, obviously, DK Metcalf has a long way to go to accomplish the things that Larry Fitzgerald has. But both of these guys, 6'4", 220-plus pounds, you know, good hands, good catch radius. But I do think it's important for DK Metcalf to lay down a really solid time, 40 time at the combine to show that he can get off the jams, that he can separate from defensive backs. And he's also got to showcase the skill set of hands because Larry Fitzgerald has some of the best hands the NFL has ever seen. Okay, and our last one is Josh Jacobs, who he's got a blueprint out there. There are several running backs out there that were backups for Alabama. That ended up being stars. I really love this kid. I love the way he runs the football. I love the way he catches it. He runs angry. He's running over people out there. But he's also one of the quickest guys out in the field. Look at the skill set with Alvin Kamara, who coming out of Tennessee was probably underrated. But he has torn up the NFL, one of Drew Brees' favorite targets. Sean Payton loves to utilize him in the run game. I think you get similar or even better production out of Josh Jacobs. He's slightly, probably a little bit more physical than Alvin Kamara is, but he is an absolute stud. I think whatever team takes him is probably going to get the steal of the draft if he drops, uh, you know, anywhere out of the first round. And Kamara began his college career at Alabama. That's Danny Cannell here with us on CBS Sports HQ. The Combine is coming up next week. Here are some key dates. NFL Draft is in Nashville this season, April the 25th through the 27th and then the post-draft rookie minicamp beginning early May.